Hello amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. We're going to look at the external pen test playbook. Is it good? Is it bad? What is missing? We're going to talk about all of that in this video, so join me. Let's go! First of all, we're going to need to talk about our instructor because Mr. Heath Adams here is a veteran, a former accountant, and most important, he has four dogs. Is it important for the course? No, it's really not, but are they cute? Yes, definitely. So, thank you for that. Uh, in his day-to-day -day life, he's an ethical hacker, the CEO of TCM Security, uh, and he has certifications on his website um, and also courses. Well, a certification, not certifications, of course. The certifications he has is OSCP, OSW, ECTPX, ECPTX, WPT, CEH, and Pentest Plus. So, that's definitely a quite impressive list. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with this instructor. There's no doubt about his credibility, I'd say. On to the next section, shall we? So the course itself, it's three and a half hours long. There's no labs, but that's not the point, he says. The point of this pen test playbook is not to have labs in them. Um, are there any disqualifiers? Yes, there are. I find that really important. There should probably already be a always be disqualifiers in my opinion as you can see here there are requirements but they're kind of vague previous beginner pen test knowledge strongly preferred okay but to what level so um that's a little bit fake in my opinion prior basic security knowledge strongly preferred also a little bit fake in my opinion desire to learn is required now that one is pretty straightforward uh, and let's get into the rest. So there are in this course, if you can look at these chapters here, you have the introduction, you have the fluff, as I like to call it, things about before you get started, like the checklists, rules of engagement, all the deliverables that the client needs to have, uh, and verifying scope, for example, all of that is super important. So I'm glad it's in here. Definitely a fan. As for kicking off, you have the attack strategy, the vulnerability scanning, review and extracting information. Definitely solid. Information gathering OSINT is also a category. Attacking login portals, escalating access, report writing, common pen test findings, and wrapping up is the last part, which is also really interesting, and I'm glad it's in there. Now, um, that's it for this section. Let's go on to what I didn't like about this course. So I know that the labs are not the intention of this course, but I would have really liked them in them. I still prefer having labs in them. Some of these vulnerabilities definitely could warrant labs, but the problem I think is that that would also warrant a small price bump. And I would definitely pay for that, but I don't know everybody would. Um, there's also no quizzes in there, which is something I would definitely have added. But again, would maybe warrant a small price bump, definitely from my side. So if you have labs in there and quizzes, that would definitely put it uh, a tier higher, in my opinion. There are also no extra resources in there. So that's something like like downloadables, like checklists that are being talked about and all of that stuff. That's very interesting to have to as downloadable so other people can just download it and experiment with it. And I know you don't want them to do that. You don't want them to just do like you do exactly the same thing. You probably want them to create their own stuff. But the thing is, you need to let people decide for themselves. If they really want that, I would have definitely added in there. So definitely not huge minus points, but they do exist, three of them. Uh, on to the next one, which is the positives. Now let's talk about the positives. So the Discord community is really important for me because I need to have a place to ask questions later on after completing the course. The credibility of the instructor is out of the question. This is amazing. There's no problem there. He does pen testing on a regular basis. Says sells amazing courses that I really like. So there's nothing wrong there. He has valuable information from the field. That one is obvious. This is not something straight up from his thumb. This is something that he actually did and saw in the field. So definitely something useful. He keeps hammering on the deliverables. That's really important. Report writing. That's super, super important because without a good report, you don't really have anything properly. Um, there are some real life examples in here, like you can see on Tesla. 
really enjoy real life examples all of the time. Uh, so that's it for the pluses. There's a lot of good things about this course. In general, we'll see in the conclusion what's going on. As for what's missing, I would have really added labs. That's something really interesting. That's I know I keep hammering on it and I sound like a broken record, but labs allow people to practice what they've learned and it's something that I would really I would always recommend any hacking curves like this has. I know for some of these topics that's really hard, but for some of them that's perfectly possible. It's just taking a lot of time, so I definitely understand why they're not in here for this price point. It's pretty sharp, but I would have added them myself. Um, would it add? Would have added a little thing more about recon, like Nmap, um, like the Durbuster or Fuff, um, things like Nikto, like Nuclear, all of that stuff. That's stuff that I use in my pen testing, so that's why I say I would have added it. Um, there's also no web attacks in there. That's that's for cross site scripting. That's a big no no no. Just kidding. But for pen testing, I would still do cross site scripting, and um, so I would still include it in here, and I would do it in my real life attack scenarios. Uh, there's also no quizzes in here. That's also something very important because quizzes. That's something I'm always looking for. Um, it'll help students retain the knowledge that they've just learned and they're not that hard to make what i usually do is i take a statement from my course uh, and i change one letter or one word to make it totally different like uh, and to or uh, and that's how i make my quizzes because i want people to really read the question and answer and exactly understand what they're reading and clicking on there so that's definitely how i would do it but totally up to you i can understand why it's not in here overall i can give this thing a 9 out of 10 dupes thank you very much for watching everybody uncle rat will see you in the next episode join me on twitter in the description below if you want one of my courses also in the description below i teach bug bounty hunting ethical hacking and anything that goes around it so thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye amazing hackers